is up everyone welcome back to my youtube channel today we will be reacting to why sprint cars and f1 cars are closer than you think i am intrigued i'm excited to get into this video i think i watched a video that was to do with how um i think it was why indie cars in formula one cars are closer than you think or some something comparing some motorsport compared with f1 and how they're closer than you would think anyway um, and that was interesting and then one of you has requested this video and if it's anything to do with f1 of course i'm going to be interested so i'm looking forward to getting into this video but before we get into it make sure you subscribe over half of you that watch my videos still aren't subscribed just hit the bell it takes two seconds and if you'd like to become a member on this channel and receive exclusive perks you can also do it by hitting the join button down below formula one cars and sprint cars they couldn't be more different, right? Yeah, they couldn't be more different. Are you kidding? When I saw this video request, I was like, what? They look, they don't look anything like each other. <laughs> ...organized many racing events and championships. In Europe, Did they? the AIACR was the AAA... AIACR, that's not confusing. <laughs> ...for the American public to take in the new spectacle. Look at those cars. What the hell? This footage is crazy. 500. Europe, however, did not see the same growth at ovals. They instead opted for road courses or closed pavement circuits. The first Is that Monaco? Look at it. Look how different it looked. Yet somehow the same. <laughs> the AAA at this point had instated... AAA. Because <laughs> no one's going to remember AIACR or whatever it was. 100 miles in length on paved tracks a mile or longer. Meanwhile in Europe, Look at that car, what the hell? Had reformed into the FIA. Wait, what's AIACR? <laughs> of the dirt oval, the upright cars of the 50s were continuing to dominate dirt Indy car races. In 1958, Jim Cushman attached the first wing to a dirt oval car. Wings rapidly- The first wing came about then, okay. Broadly speaking, Formula One cars, sprint cars, and the national championship Indy cars were nearly one in the same. Yeah, they look exactly the same. I was just about to say that. By 1970, the USAC National Championship for IndyCar would stop visiting dirt tracks. It makes sense. Oh, they so they stopped cars for dirt tracks anyway. visiting dirt tracks for Indy in the 1970s. The, the bodywork hardly changed. An addition of a roll cage. So not actually that long ago when you think about that. <laughs> of the wing took place. What's but that like 40 years ago? Through to today, sprint cars have added some extra tubing to keep the driver safe, but primarily changes have taken place in the. Yeah, the evolution of this car is crazy. Like they went from looking the same as F1 cars back then to then suddenly have wings on the top. It's completely open. It still exists, however, since sprint cars Insane. are incredibly tight packages with massive horsepower and hardly any weight, and they're they very small power to weight ratios. To compare figures, Formula One cars weigh around 1,700 pounds. Sprint right. cars, on the other hand, weigh 1,400 pounds. Oh, so that's like 300 pounds less. Cars produce around 1,000 horsepower, while sprint cars make between 800 and 900 horsepower. This puts the power to weight ratio incredibly close, with sprint cars taking yeah. a slim margin at... So they have like this, almost the same horsepower, but sprint car is like 300 pounds less in weight to find accurate figures on downforce, but it's estimated that sprint cars are generating more than a thousand pounds of downforce at a hundred miles an hour. Well, and that makes sense because the, they've got the wing on the top. pounds of downforce at a hundred miles an hour. What I can't find is an estimate of the side force created by sprint cars to hold them to the track. Regardless, these numbers are astonishingly close. Of course, mm. on paper, this puts the sprint car and the Formula One car at near pecking level. In reality, these universes couldn't be farther apart. So they may not look the same, and they race on completely different tracks. But numbers-wise, they're very similar. If that makes sense. I was going to say, when I watched this video, they look completely different. Where is this going? That was interesting. Um, like I said, when I saw the title of this video i was like what do you mean sprint cars and f1 cars are closer than i think like what they look completely different but yes they made it different but numbers wise they're like almost similar if not the same and um that is crazy to think that they have almost the same they generate the same amount of horsepower sprint cars are like 100 less 
weight difference is only 300 pounds. So yeah, that was interesting. For me as well, like I, you guys know I'm into F1, but I'm also now into dirt racing and stuff because I watched the Dirt series. That was so good. I can't get over how good that was. Um, and you guys have now requested so many other like documentaries from that channel that did the Dirt series. So I'm gonna try and get through those as well because I did love um, that series. Um, so with that being said, if you have any other videos that you want me to react to, drop them in the comments. I'm working my way through everybody's suggestions at the moment. If you did want to check out any of my other socials, they are all linked down below. And if you want to become a member on this channel and receive exclusive perks, you can also do that by hitting the join button down below. But I hope you enjoyed today's reaction and I will catch you next time for the next one. Bye.